this video, we shall take a look at the AutoCAD ribbons. So far, we have used the command line prompts as well as clicking on icons from the Home tab to invoke the commands, tools, and methods that we have needed to pursue drawing our objects. These commands can also be implemented through the relevant ribbons in the AutoCAD program. Let's go ahead and open up a new session of AutoCAD and review the AutoCAD ribbons. So, so far, we have been using palettes and icons that are on the home ribbon. Let's take a look at some of the other ribbons in the AutoCAD program. So, for example, we have the annotate ribbon. So, clicking on the annotate tab opens up the annotate ribbon and we see palettes that hold tools and commands for us to work with and manipulate our annotations. Let's take a look at the view ribbon. So the view ribbon holds tools that we had previously invoked from the view toolbar. So for example, we can zoom in, zoom out, zoom to a specific window, and so on and so forth. And a number of other palettes from which we can invoke our tools, methods, and commands that relate to changing views of our AutoCAD window. Let's take a look at the output ribbon. So the output ribbon holds options for printing your work or exporting your drawings. So for example, plotting our drawings or setting up our drawings to be plotted or if we would like to export our drawing to some other format and so on and so forth we can do that through the output ribbon. The express tools ribbon kinda holds something for everyone if you will. So for example it gives us some uh, palettes that we can use to work with blocks or text. We can also access some modify tools and commands. It also gives us some functionality for dimensioning and several others. Coming back to the insert ribbon, this provides functionality for creating and working with blocks, which we shall cover in a separate video under part four of our course series on AutoCAD 2014. The layout ribbon has tools that we can use to create and manipulate layouts for views and for printing. And so there are many other ribbons available in the AutoCAD 2014 program. So to reiterate, we began drawing objects and invoking commands by clicking on icons from various palettes within the home ribbon. We also learned how to invoke these same commands by typing in a command in the command line prompt. 
So the ribbons give us an additional way of invoking these same commands, methods and tools, etc. By simply looking up the relevant ribbon and searching for the icon that we need to click on from that ribbon to invoke the command for us. This concludes our review of the AutoCAD ribbons.